Hi there. Today I want to talk about Minimi token and how, why I, I think a lot of the ICOs, all they need just a Minimi token and why Minimi token has created one feature that I believe every Ethereum contract should have, I would say must have. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go to github.com given Minimi. Click button row. We're gonna copy the whole contract here. I'm gonna open up remix.ethereum.org just for the simplicity. And you can use whatever uh, ID you want. You can use Truffle, you can use uh, Mist, you can use Parity, it doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever you like. So, and I just pasted this contract here. Um, okay, so now we're going to deploy this uh, token contract and I'm going to show you some really cool things that you can do with Minimi and how to use it. So first of all, you need to build a Minimi token factory. And if you got into this problem out of gas, just make sure you give it a little bit more gas. So you, you, your contract will be, will go through. So once you deploy Minimi token factory, then we need to build a deploy a mini me token. Mini me token has some arguments. Let's go to here and let's provide them whatever they need, whatever they need. So the first one is called token factory is just the address, the one that we just built. Second one, parent token, it just provides zero because we're building a new token. Uh, parent snapshot is also zero because we're building a new token. Token name, let's say, um, let's say something like uh, Roman Storm token. Uh, then the decimals, I highly recommend everybody using sticking with 18 decimals for one reason. We like a simplicity for all the community, for exchanges, for the uh, app developers, for everyone. 18 is like a standard for like Ethereum. And I believe all tokens should also inherit this property to have uh, 18 decimals. And 51% of all tokens on the Ethereum network is using 18. So stick with 18 and you will be safe. Uh, token symbol. Let's say RST and transfers enabled. Well, I'm going to say true and create. Transfers basically means actually when you build your token for your ICO, I highly recommend you to make transfers false. So if you build it with true, just call the function uh, enable transfers false. Um, well, this is still true. What am I doing wrong? Transfers enabled, false. Okay, so sorry about that, it looks like for some reason, sometimes you have to use double quotes for all the parameters in the remix. And for this one, it looks like uh, double quotes was the issue and then they didn't go through. Okay, now we're good. All right, so we can see uh, all the things. So we started with a total supply zero and Minimi has pretty much everything for most of the ICOs, 
it's a mintable token, it's a burnable token, it's pulsable token. So, which means uh, there are a few strategies when you do an ICO. The first one is when you mint your token at the time of sale. So you start with a total supply of one, and if I send you some money, you generate me the tokens. What does it mean? It means that you actually call this function generate tokens. So let's generate tokens to this second address and give, give this guy a little bit of money. Let's say I'm gonna give them 123 tokens. We can check that. Um, we can check that the balance, 123 tokens. And this is another cool feature that Minimi provides you balance of add, which means we can check the balance back in the history. What was the balance at the time when we created this uh, contract? So let's say I want to check the balance of this owner and at this particular block when we actually build this contract. So the balance was zero. What about the next block? It was also zero, next, it was also zero, even next, still zero, next. Okay, where, where was it? Okay, here we go. So at this block, this owner has 123 because that's when we called generate tokens. The same thing could be done for total supply. Right now it's 123. But if we want to check the total supply at a particular block number, we can totally do that. So in block six, it was zero at seven, it was 23, 123. This could be used for things like when we want to give some bonuses at some particular time. And let's say whoever bought the token until some day, we can give those people some bonus or something like that. And the way we do that, we can check the balances at the particular block using this function. This is really good. Okay, this is a basic stuff. So for the burnable tokens, uh, same thing for destroy tokens. Destroy tokens mean, meaning we're gonna burn those tokens. So we're gonna take away those tokens and we're just gonna destroy them. So since we have uh, 123, I'm gonna burn uh, 100 of tokens right now. Okay, here we go. So the total supply should be 23. And total supply the next block, 23. The balance of is 23 as well. So this is how you burn tokens. And then in the, in the last, the most important feature that I believe all contracts should have is claim tokens. I'm gonna to explain what it is, how to use it, and why I believe every single token on the Ethereum blockchain should have this method. So let's say I have some other tokens, like, I don't know, uh, let's build some other token. I'm gonna create, build a token factory, and I'm gonna build a mini me token again. Uh, zero, zero, what was that? Um, token name, let's say, uh, Sokol. Decimal 18, token symbol SQL, transfers enabled true. Okay, so now we have token, this token and let's generate some so-called tokens to this address. We're gonna give this guy 321. All right, so let's check that we have this balance. 321. 
So now, let's say for some reason, I make a mistake. I'm this person and I will transfer some tokens and by some weird mistake, I'm transferring this token to uh, Roman Storm token contract. So what you, let's execute this function first. So let's say I send 150 from this owner to Roman Storm contract, which is this one. Transfer. Okay, transfer, transfer went well and successfully. So now we can check that indeed this token contract, Roman Storm token has 150 uh, of Sokol tokens. Here we go. What are we gonna do now? So usually people go to the founders, they go to Roman store token and they say, hey, please, like I said, accidentally sent some tokens to this contract and I need it back. And usually people don't have a function like claim tokens and they, they, they screwed. So they can give them the tokens and they can also, they cannot also take advantage of those tokens. So nobody can use those tokens. Luckily for you, if you use Minimi or if you have this function claim tokens, we can help them out. What you need to do is take the address of the Sokol tokens and call the function claim tokens from the controller, which is this one. The controller is the one who built the token, who deployed it. Let's call it. So now the controller, the founder should get these tokens. So the contract should no longer have it. And the founder should have 150 tokens. So now I can actually give back those 150 tokens to the guy who made a mistake. So I'm gonna take his address and I'm gonna send them back 150 tokens. So, Oh, I did. A, I just did another mistake. So, um, I'm gonna give. Okay, who I'm gonna give it to? This guy, right? From this guy. All right. So now that guy should have his tokens. Here we go. He's got his 321 tokens back. This is really good. So if you come across a situation that you see you receive some tokens on your contract, don't be a bad guy. Don't keep it to yourself. Make sure you have a function like claim tokens and give them back. You, because you, we, we live in blockchain, right? Where uh, Every transaction is public, so you can see who sent you those tokens and send them back using these claim tokens, please. This is pretty much it. I really like Minimi. This is really good contract. They also provide functions like uh, create clone token, which is also useful if you wanna migrate your token somewhere else to a new contract. Thank you for watching. And have a good Friday.